a dinner meetup turns dangerous. A woman says she was sexually assaulted, whom police are now looking for. And a very dangerous meal. What police are now saying about a driver who hopped a curb and ran right into a group of diners. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. A terrible and busy 24 hours for D.C. police and local families. Seven shootings, 10 victims. Two of them are now dead. Here is a map of the six different crimes. The gunshots started last night on 15th Street Northwest. Our Q McRae is at the scene of the very latest shooting on Clay Place in Northeast, with more on all of these crimes being investigated right now. Q? Yeah, that's right, Kim. You know, when I started working on our 11 o'clock newscast, our story for the 11 o'clock newscast, we knew of five shootings. Well, that total is now up to seven. We found out that a man who was shot in his car in Southeast late last night walked himself into a hospital. And then, as you can see the crime scene tape in my hands, there was a shooting here at the intersection of Clay Place and Minnesota Avenue Northeast. Two people were shot in this area. Both are expected to survive. Metropolitan police and crime scene technicians hid the body from onlookers, including the victim's father. He told us his son's name was Jermaine Richards, just 17 years old. His aunt spoke for the family. And they come over here and see him laying over there. You know, that's a hurting feeling. Richard's death was the fifth shooting in what was a violent overnight in Washington, D.C. Around 940 last night, two men survived a shooting near the Ecuadorian embassy in the 2600 block of 15th Street Northwest. 30 minutes later in Southeast, a man was shot in the leg in the 3500 block of Minnesota Avenue. At 1 a.m., a block party was shot up in the 1500 block of 45th Street Northeast. One person was hit and lived. An hour later, a man was shot to death and another injured in the 4800 block of Kansas Avenue. This is exclusive surveillance video of the victims and possible suspect moments before the shots were fired. And just before 3 Sunday afternoon, Richards was killed at the corner of Quarles and 45th Streets Northeast. We have no way of predicting or preventing many of them uh, other than being where we're supposed to be. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Right now, a young man uh, has lost his life as a result of this. According to his family, Richards lived in Southeast, but was visiting friends in Northeast when he was murdered. Nobody need to get killed like this, you know, and um, he was young. So here's the latest totals. There have been seven shootings in the last 24 hours here in D.C. Uh, ten victims, two deaths, and so far no arrests at last check, but the Metropolitan Police Department is working hard to get those shooters off the street. So that's the latest from Northeast. I'm Q McRae, ABC7 News. Hope things can quiet down tonight. Thank you, Q. In Montgomery County tonight, police are looking for this man after a sexual assault claim in Gaithersburg. Cheryl Connor is live more with how a night of fun turned into a nightmare and the search underway right now. Well, Kimberly, we've been out showing people the sketch of the suspect that Montgomery County Police put out this weekend. And we've been outside of Quincy's and we noticed this is where police say the man and woman met. There are cameras outside here. The footage may help detectives. It was Taco Tuesday, according to customers at Quincy's Bar and Grill in Gaithersburg. Montgomery County Police tell us a woman and a man met each other here before she reported she was raped. Not at all. Mother of five young girls, Brittany Curvin, says she doesn't recognize the police sketch of the suspect. The 26-year-old woman says she left the bar at 2.30 Wednesday morning with the man. She told police he forced her to a grassy area next to Quince Orchard Plaza. It's pretty sad, especially knowing that I have girls. The victim said at first she was able to break the man's hold, but then he was able to grab her again, and that's when he raped her. From what I heard, yeah, they were not they were not strangers. It's what customers are talking about. A manager said Quincy's is cooperating with police, but he had no further comment. We don't know yet if the cameras outside have helped detectives. I hope that when she approaches to give her side of the testimony, people take her seriously. Police say the suspect is a Hispanic man, 20 to 30 years old, five feet, three inches tall and 200 pounds, wearing glasses at the time. 
If you recognize the suspect, Crime Solvers is offering up to $10,000 for information that leads to an arrest. We're live in Gaithersburg. Cheryl Connor, ABC 7 News. And for another look at the Gaithersburg sex assault suspect sketch or for the very latest on the rash of shootings in D.C., head over to our website at WJLA.com. So the weekend ended much better than it started. Rain on Saturday, a beauty on Sunday. Let's find out how long it will last with meteorologist Josh Knight. I suspect just a few more hours, Josh. <laughs> That's right, Kimberly. Uh, things are already starting to change for us across the area. The humidity is starting to creep back up. Still making for a very nice night here at the National Harbor. And we do have some places with some cool temperatures. We're about 60 in Del Plain at the Barrel Oak Winery. As you go west out, 66, 61 in Brandywine, Great Falls, Round Hill. We're at 62, so still a cool night and a cool morning for us. Let me show you what's going on. The real reason we've had such a beautiful day is thanks to high pressure that's moving in and where it's sitting right now, it gives us this nice northerly breeze that works to pull in all of this cooler air, but more importantly, air that has really low humidity. It's really dry and that's why today felt so great. Clear skies now are going to allow temperatures to drop back into the 50s and 60s and tomorrow we are warming up a bit more, shooting for a high of about 80 87 tomorrow, so about five degrees warmer than we were today. So here's a quick look. 82 is where we were today. Tomorrow we're at 87, then we're into the 90s by Wednesday. That also means some thunderstorms. I'll time all that out for you coming up in just a bit. New at 11, a van careened into a group of people dining outside an L.A. restaurant. Nine people were hurt, one critically when the van jumped a curb. Police